everyone welcome to my tube channel in this tutorial i will show you how to do a bouncy ball first things first so let's add a ball to c shift a i'm gonna be adding a ball just i'm gonna be adding a sphere like this select it go over modifiers add subdivision surface modifier set it to two shade smooth like this then hit one for front view so just i'm gonna be moving it on the axis like this so grab it just turn a bit so I want to scale it just like this so i'm gonna be adding a ground shift a so let's add a plane scale it up just like this as shown here in our tutorial let's apply subdivision surface modifier then i'm gonna be adding some keyframes using the i key so select the ball over here hit i key is gonna be showing up the insert keyframe menu like this so just i'm gonna be adding a keyframe for this location ctrl z i just select location as as you can see here in the timeline editor we have added a keyframe Then move it to frame 100. So just let's grab it on the Z axis like this. Move it down until to, until this ball uh, touch it touching the ground as shown here. Then hit I key to add hit. I key at this position to add another keyframe for this location over here. We have added two frames as shown here. And you can see the motion of this ball. So the start frame is one and the, the end frame is uh, let's just set it to 120 because our animation is just uh, constrained to this uh, field over here. Hit one, so go over the timeline editor, hit T key, then let's select bones and the dynamic effect, select bones. So let's play the animation and see what will happen. And you can see that the ball is bouncing on this ground as shown here in our tutorial. I think that's good enough to make this bouncing ball without using rigid body physics and its great effect. Thanks for watching.